my surprise. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review Alien. Before I review Alien though, my awesome guest star, Green Day The Beatles, is going to review it. So, Green Day The Beatles, take it away, dude. Hello, watchers of 22 Tiger Dude. My name is Brandon, and I'm from the channel Green Day The Beatles. And today, I am going to be reviewing Alien. Now, Alien is directed by Ridley Scott and stars Sigourney Weaver, John Hurt, and Ian Holm, among others. Now, when this movie was released in 1979, this movie was a massive hit. People saw it everywhere, got widespread critical acclaim. It's produced some of the most memorable images in all of science fiction and in all of horror. The xenomorph creature, the space jockey, Sigourney Weaver's character of Ellen Ripley has become one of the most famous characters of all time, especially in sci-fi. And what do I think of Alien? Alien is one of my all-time favorite films. It's my favorite of the Alien franchise. I just love every moment of this movie. Now, I love the atmosphere of this film. It's small, it's tight, it really does make you feel like you are on this ship. The characters are so colorful. None of them are really archetypes in any way possible. They're all their own person, and they are incredibly likable. Even the people you're supposed to hate, like Ian Holmes, Ash, you do kind of like because you know that they're good, well-written characters. And the actors themselves play them particularly well. Sigourney Weaver is one of my favorite actresses, and she does a fantastic job as Ellen Ripley. Um, and the other performances are great, however. And John Hurt, his death scene, sorry, spoilers, I guess, in Alien is one of the most famous death scenes of all time, if not the most famous, because that um, is a scene where the xenomorph just pops out of his chest, it just ingrained itself into the memory of everybody watching this film. Even people who don't, who have not watched this film, know that image. And Really, I guess that's all I can say about the performances and everything else, but the effects in this movie, yeah, some of them have aged a bit, you know, being a film made in 1979, but some of the effects, all of them are practical. This was before CG, so that makes some of them truly impressive. Now, the Xenomorph suit in this movie is just, oh, it's phenomenal. It just is a great work of puppetry and just a great suit in general. The design is great. It was designed by H.R. Geiger, and the design of the Xenomorph is basically what I think of when I think of aliens in any way, shape, or form. It is my favorite design of any alien creature ever, and really when you get into the scares of this movie, they are very few in the first half, but I like how it takes development before it gets to the scares. Because then we actually give a damn about the characters and the stuff that's happening to them. Really, in most horror films that you see today, they just seem to forget that and just go into jump scares and loud music without developing the characters so you don't give a fuck and you about you just don't give a fuck about the characters because it wants to get too like just jump right into the jump scares and the just the loud music and the plays with them and 
the blood that's there for no real reason. Just, Alien is one of the most perfect horror films of both its time and now, just because of that reason. And I just love Alien. I do think that Alien is not only one of the best science fiction movies ever, but it's also one of the most it's one of the best horror movies ever, which is definitely impressive. This is was Ridley Scott's breakthrough movie, and it's awesome. That guy's career, everything he does now, is basically just attributed to this movie alone. I give this movie an A+. It is just phenomenal. Watch it if you have not already. And thanks for watching my section of this video. And back to 22 Tiger Dude. Thank you so much, Green Day the Beatles. You guys, please check out Green Day the Beatles. He has an awesome channel. He does movie reviews. He does Blu-ray updates, Blu-ray hauls. He even showed you his Blu-ray collection. He has a lot of great stuff on his channel. I really enjoy his channel. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. Alien is a fantastic movie. This film is wow. I love this film. Ridley Scott, he's the director for this film, and this is just like so well done. I am so mind blown by Alien. Of course, Ridley Scott, he returned to do the prequel Prometheus. I already reviewed Prometheus back when I was getting started on my channel. And Prometheus, it was good. Watching Prometheus the second time though, I did enjoy it more than the first time. I was a bit generous giving Prometheus 3 out of 4 stars. But rewatching that film a second time, I, it is a full 3 out of 4 stars. It doesn't compare to what Alien is, but Prometheus is still a solid prequel, while Alien is an amazing original film. The characters are very well done. There are no weak performances in Alien. Sigourney Weaver does a fantastic job here. All the actors in this film, they just do a fantastic job portraying their roles. The visual effects, they looked amazing. And Alien is definitely one of those slow, intense films. And the film is not slow like, oh my gosh, this is boring. <sighs> it was slow as in, oh my gosh, this is really intense. But uh, it's the direction that was so brilliant. Just how Ridley Scott really executed the moments in Alien. That nice tension. It was smooth. It was really edited very well. And it's overall very brilliant. It's a very creative concept. It just really surprises you as the movie goes on. The intense scenes that Ridley Scott brings you to make you feel like you're actually in this film with the crew members. And I gotta give a credit to Ridley Scott. It was well acted, it was well written, it was definitely well directed. It has those intense edge of your seat moments. And for this film being slow, it is so amazing. It's slow, but super intense as hell. I'm just in this film. Every moment from the very start to the very end. I love Alien. I've been on board with this film the whole time. And you really feel for the characters too. Alien, you're damn right I'm giving this 4 out of 4 stars. Yes, it is a perfect film. I love Aliens. One of the best films I've ever seen. It's a perfect, mesmerizing, beautiful, sci-fi thriller film. I am 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... TIGER POWER!